topic is 10.2, finding the zeros of a quadratic function given its equation. So for these, if I want to find the zeros, I can either try to factor it or I can use the quadratic formula. Um, however, you, if it's not factorable, you'll probably be wasting time trying to factor it. Um, so you could just use quadratic formula by default every time you see a quadratic function. But I believe this is factorable, so I am going to factor it. And then in order for me to find the zeros, I have to set the y value equal to zero, which means I have to set each factor equal to zero. And then if I solve both, I have to minus six on both sides. And on this side, I have to add four on both sides. And so I get the two solutions, negative six and four. These are what are called the quote unquote zeros of the function, okay? So zeros are given by um, the values that will make the function equal to zero, okay? So the same thing here, set this equal to zero, and you can do it before or after you factor, just as long as you do it before you set each factor equal to zero. Um, and I can factor this at the same time. This would be x plus four and x plus four, which is the same as saying x plus four squared. And if I take the square root of both sides, generally I get plus or minus. But the square root of zero is zero, and it doesn't matter whether it's positive zero or negative zero, it's still zero because zero is neutral. And then if I minus four on both sides, I get that x equals negative four. Now, instead of writing it as a square and then taking the square root of both sides, you could have done it just like the previous example and set this factor equal to zero and then this factor equal to zero. When you do that though, because these are exactly the same thing, when you set them equal to zero, they will both look like this, and then therefore you'll get this solution twice, okay? And there's no need to write down that solution twice, okay? Um, it does have some significance when it comes to the graphs of these um, functions, but that will be talked about later, okay? What is, this is a zero and these are zeros, but there's a difference between these that have a power of one and this one that has a power of two. It behaves differently at that zero or x-intercept because remember, zero is another word for x-intercept. Okay, so there is something happening in the graph around these x-intercepts because of the power being one around the factors, and then something different is happening at this x-intercept because of the power two on that factor. But again, we'll talk about that in another topic in the future.